What's poppin', YouTube family? It's your boy, The White. Welcome back to the channel, Silverback Siage. Hope all is well with everybody. First off, do me a huge favor. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And punch that bell icon so you can be notified when I post new content. Now, today, I'm super excited to actually get a chance to probe off into a fragrance house that I'd never heard of, if you count back about five or six months ago. But I've heard a lot about them. Certain fragrances within this one, but this might be the most popular one. One that I've never actually brought to the channel. If you'd like to find out which fragrance I'm coming with and what house I'm bro probing off into, keep it locked. Well, let's get right into the meat and potatoes. Today, I plan to probe off into a fragrance house that I don't hear many people talk about. Just a couple of reviewers out there. And it's by the name of The Harmonist. And I think this is supposed to be one of their most popular fragrances being hypnotizing fire it's a parfum i got a sample here this is a parfum concentration this is what your bottle presentation would look like if you bought it in the stores but let's get down to that juice so i can break down what i think about this fragrance let that dry down some there main of course for this one is woody spicy smoky sweet and resinous with top notes of clove pepper tree and pimento heart notes of praline patchouli bulgarian rose base notes of a poponax which is a new fragrance note for me i don't have a lot of experience with that one benzoin and vanilla but what do i get when you first spray this on now in that opening and that's awesome by the way let me address that first and foremost but i'll get to that in a minute when you first spray this one on it's super duper spicy with that pimento and the clove kind of intertwined in there makes it exceptionally spicy i don't really know much about pepper tree but with it saying pepper it's like that's what you get a lot of spices with some pepper but you immediately also pick up on the creamy nuances with the praline and kind of a little bit of that vanilla that's in there. This one right here, though, is definitely one of those fragrances that you want to wear in the fall, in the winter. To me, it would be most prevalent there. It's definitely date night approved. So this is one you want to spray on your clothes when you hitting the town with your lady or your significant other going in and out of town is a good one for you if you're on a cruise boat when you're going to that captain's ball dinner this is the fragrance that you want to bring to the table when you're suited and booted you look nice and you're going somewhere either whether it be important or a good romantic setting that's what i will say uh projection for this one not really really long by arm's length you know what i'm saying as far as how far it's going to project away from you but what I will say, this one here is definitely cuddle body approved, got some good longevity to it. So the first couple times that I tested this fragrance out, I got a strong eight hours of longevity out of it. It was, projection was uh, probably mild, I would say, for the first six hours of the fragrance. But if you spray your clothes with this one, it'll hang out a while. You get your 10, 12 hours before you stop probably clocking it because who has a date that lasts eight to 12 hours? You know what I mean? So if your dates, if you're going somewhere special with your woman, you're going to be gone for four to six hours or three hours or however the case may be, it will definitely stand the hands of time. I wouldn't recommend wearing this in really, really hot weather because of the spiciness to it. So summer, unless it's a really, really cool night, date night, then that's one thing. Spring, you might can pull it off. But like I stated before, fall and winter time would definitely be the time where this one's going to come to the forefront. Do I don this full body, full bottle worthy because it's, when I look online at like Neiman Marcus and uh, websites like that, I see like a $320 price point for like a hundred, a, a 1.7 ounce bottle. So around that 50 mil, I believe it is bottle size. It's pretty pricey per ounces as far as what you get in that bottle. But Sin Profile, if I had to rate this out of one out of 10, I give it a strong nine. The only reason why this doesn't get a 10 out of 10 for me as far as this scent profile, as much as I like it and as sexy as I think that it is, is because of the bottle size that you're going to get for the retail price. And I haven't seen it on any discounters. So for right now, uh, this bottle here is full retail at that $300 
uh, $20 price point. I was out of town when I first got this sample, and I think they was letting bottles go back then for about $270. I should have caught me one back then when I was in Houston when I first discovered this fragrance to begin with. I will definitely say the scent profile is worth the money, but I wish they at least made it in a 100 ml bottle. The bottle's really, really nice like I showed you on the screen. So it looks really, really nice within your collection. I will definitely be getting me one of these, a bottle of this fragrance right here when it gets cooler out. So probably around that fall time, between fall and winter, it's full bottle worthy. So I definitely plan to get me one of these. And I've actually heard that they got a fresh fragrance or two within the uh, house that's supposed to be really, really nice. One's called, if I'm not mistaken, it's called Yin Transformation. It's supposed to be a freshie with the same bottle presentation, blue bottle, my favorite color, of course. And I heard great things about it. So I'm looking to either get me a sample or I may just go ahead and blind buy this thing. If you have a uh, hypnotizing fire in your collection and you love it or you think it's average or if you think that it was a waste of your money, leave a comment in the comments and let me know what you think about it. But for me, it's two thumbs up. That's my time. Peace.